back down in the paddock. The sun's come out. It's still a little bit blustery here, and we're with James Mills as talk everything Miami here this weekend. James, good to see you, mate. Uh, good weekend so far. And you? Yeah, yeah. It's been it's been great. Obviously, the weather's not been so kind. It's a bit blowy now, like you said. But yeah, you know, it's good good uh, good action on the track. So yeah, it's uh, been really good so far. What does a what does a Shennington Super Pre weekend look like for yourself? Um, yeah, I mean, it's quite busy. We've got quite a lot of product here this weekend. So, you know, it's just keeping all those happy and, you know, make sure everybody's, uh, you know, getting the most out of the weekend, really, I suppose. As we say, IAMI products, the X30 engine carts, they're a big part of, of the British karting scene at the at the moment. What, what, from your perspective, has the last few years been like in terms of success? Yeah, it's been, it's been good. I mean, the, the X30 products, um, since its introduction in 2015, has grown, you know, to being one of the sort of mainstays of, of British karting in junior and senior. Um, obviously, this year, um, we, we replaced the little Gazelle engine um, with the Water Swift and, and obviously introduced the two categories there, the Cadet and the intermediate so you know that that also is is, is it's been tough you know the, for, for the people to to accept the change and bits and bobs like that it's been difficult but yeah it's you know it's starting to gather some good momentum and you know we're seeing seeing good numbers out there now i say that throughout the year every time i see the water swift out there seems to be more and more of them how rewarding is is that to see those grids forming oh yeah definitely i mean um you, you know, so we had the Gazelle engine for that, which was the, the MSA tender we won back in 2012. And obviously the decision to, to, to sort of let that go after 10 years was, was quite difficult. But, um, you, you know, it, it has been rewarding. You know, the, 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 I feel the product we've got with the Water Swift is, is, is a better product. It's a little bit more, you know, modern. It's the water-cooled bit, you know, and, and it's grown nicely. And the, the engine's you know user friendly and and everybody seems to get on with it well so yeah Let's talk a bit further about the racing here this weekend i said the full full range of age ranges here this yeah. weekend number of them competing for e-plates as yeah. well yeah. why here at shennington for the for the e-plate contest uh, i think i mean it was shennington that obviously originally came up with the e-plate and it, you know it, it does feel the right home for for the e-plate here uh, you know they've done a good job and it's their their big meter of the year um i mean in terms of trash action you know, you look at some of the, the rising stars that are racing in the interclass and, and probably the cadet, you know, there's some certain stars of the future there. Um, and obviously it's possibly the same in junior, you know, we're, we're going to see some of those drivers really move on to, you know, to a good career in motorsport. So it's it's a good to see them at sort of one of the original homes of, of Carter, you know, Shinnington's been around a long time. You know, I raced here myself and, and my father raced here many years ago. So, you know, it is it is one of those old sort of old mainstays of British karting, which is, is good to see him get an event like this. And, and that that kind of lineage and going through as well. I know a number of drivers racing through from Exodus, a lot of British success at, in the I Army World Final oh, stage absolutely. as well. In terms of that still being a thing, how does how does that sell IAMI formulas over over others perhaps? Yeah, I mean, like the IAMI, the, the the sort of the global package they've got now with with obviously the European series has been incredibly popular this year through through all the categories, and it, and it's great to see the British drivers you know up there at the at the sharp end, shall we say? And and obviously then that leads to the to the uh, the international final that they have. I mean. Previous years they've had it at Le Mans, uh, which was a, a fantastic home for it. I mean, it's a, you know an amazing facility there. Uh, this year we then moved to Portugal, so it's it's going to be a new sort of event and a new field. But certainly, you know, the tickets will still be you know very sought after, and and you know there is quite a prestigious, prestigious, a prestigious event for the for the uh, for the year for the IME. IME racers. So you know, I, I'm pretty sure we'll have a good showing of UK drivers out there. And, and hopefully we'll come back with the, you know, with the trophy and following the footsteps of the previous, the previous winners that we've we've sort of grown from the UK. So yeah, it should be it should be good. It's a certainly an event to look forward to. Absolutely, I know I'll be uh, looking forward to it, uh, watching it. Uh, James, I'll not hold you up any longer. Okay. Thanks, thanks for your time Thank and you uh, best much. look for the rest of the weekend. All right, take care. Bye bye. Thank you. Thanks.